He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I saw the movie Hidden Figures. Now, this film was based off of a true story. It's about a team of African-American women who work for NASA in the mathematical department, and they basically, they're giving their, them mathematical data needed to launch the first programs in space, the first space successful space missions. And it's all these women who I had never heard about, and it's in this incredible story that's True, but kind of not so true. Starring Taraji P. Henson, Octavia Spencer, Janelle Monet, Kevin Costner, Kirsten Dunst is in it, Jim Parsons. Now, I'll be honest, I was not thrilled to see this film. When the previews came out, I thought it looked super cheesy. It looked like this watered-down PG Disney feel-good movie, and I really wasn't that interested in it. It just looked super, super cheesy. But then all this buzz started happening, and it's nominated for Best film of the year by the Oscars, and I was like, oh, well, obviously I have to see it now. We've seen space race movies like Apollo 13, and we've seen lots of segregation, racism movies. This kind of combined the two together, and it told you a story that most all of us knew nothing about. I mean, why didn't they teach us this in school, that these women were, were doing this and helping NASA? It, it, it's kind of shocking that I, none of us knew about this, or maybe some of you did, but I sure didn't. I thought the acting was incredible in this movie. Taraji P. Henson was probably my least favorite, and I feel so bad saying that because she's an amazing actress. But I don't know, maybe it was the she just didn't feel comfortable in the role because she was like really playing up the nerdy. She like kept pushing up her glasses and just being very showy and, and very obvious with her choices of being like a nerd, a mathematician nerd, which I thought was kind of a little annoying at times. Uh, Octavia Spencer was amazing. She was great. Janelle Monet is the one that... She's been in two incredible movies this year. Moonlight and Hidden Figures. Two movies that are Oscar nominated for Best Picture. It's crazy. I thought she was great. She's a great actress. And, and I really enjoyed her. All in all, all of these women did an incredible job. Even the supporting cast. Kevin Costner, Jim Parsons, Kirsten Dunst. I totally forgot she was in this film. Literally every single movie that Kirsten Dunst has been in, I have liked. I, I don't think she's done one movie except for like two. Well, she's done like two movies that I didn't really care for. But other than that, she has like one of the most incredible careers, I think. Uh, beyond that, this film... I will say, as soon as I got home, I had to look a lot of stuff up. Because I was like, did that really happen? Was that accurate? And unfortunately, there was a lot of added drama. Uh, the Kirsten Dunst character was not a real person. The Jim Parsons character was not a real person. And the real Katherine Johnson said that she never felt personally segregated or in a racist, racist like group. She didn't feel that. She knew it was happening, but she personally didn't feel that. And it just made it weird because that's what the whole movie was based on. And it just seemed like they were trying to create conflict where when there really wasn't as much conflict as they they made seem. Regardless of all of the manufactured drama they created for the film, this is a solid film. It was it was very educational. It, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. It wasn't as cheesy as the preview makes it look out to be. I know everybody's probably already seen this film. I'm very late to the game, but I would definitely recommend seeing Hidden Figures. I don't think it's going to win anything, but it's a good film for this year, and it just definitely makes you feel good at the end of it. My audience applauded, which I was kind of surprised, but it was really cool that this is Based on a true story, not sure how much of it's actually true. That was probably my biggest complaint, is the fact that all the stuff I learned after seeing the movie of what wasn't true and what was true. It's called Hidden Figures. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It's probably going to be in more theaters because it got nominated. All right, until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.